Hey, hey, everyone. It's Jane A from Your Weight Loss. Hello, hello. We have special guests today with us. They're special special to you. They're supposed to be very special to us. Um, we have Jeff and Neil. Beep, 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 beep. Hello. Look at your eyes. I feel like you guys are so close to us and I love it. Like in it's the- like I can touch you. I can't like it, it had like it was it hadn't even started yet. And like his annoyance level was already at a 12. Like he literally set this up, like the behind, like he cleaned the table and like was like, uh, We're not if- animals. <laughs> and the, then uh, like- picture keeps changing in the background. It wasn't a Van Gogh, uh, yeah. Van Gogh. And now we got what? It keeps changing. Giraffe. Good. Giraffe. May- Desert. Yeah. It might be distracting for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alicia, then he said, <laughs> it might be distracting. And then he says, if you want to use my computer, it has a better camera. I'm like, no, because we use this one every single time. So the camera does like, it doesn't matter what we use. Like they're, they're here for it. Would you like to use another microphone? No, we, we're not changing our system for your presence. We think our system is great. They're very rigid in their routine for sure. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like change. How can you turn are we those guys up a little bit? Well, oh, we're not. Yes, we absolutely can this turn them up. Yeah, is it because you're so old? You your ears are stopping working. No, I just want them to be on the same level of. You can you speak into the mic nice and clearly. Remember, we have to remember, and no touching near your mouth like this. Just talk nice and clear into the microphone. Thank you for turning up the volume. This time. Do you do you guys hear the mumble of that? Is Jeff's voice? Unbelievable. I don't know if you guys Thank you, Neil and Jeff for being on the podcast <laughs> yet again and being that popular. Honestly, uh, honestly, honestly, we're doing this for the people. Like, I mean, they they're waiting for this moment. Like, I mean, this was a lot. It's 8 30 PM, you know, like it, it was a lot of planning, a lot of planning. I I'm pretty sure I'm the only one of the four of us who re-listened to the full podcast from last year no, today. I listen to it on a daily basis because I want to keep the ratings up. <laughs> And that's why we're winning the ratings war. Right. Yeah. Because I've said, listened to, what do you think I'm laughing at when I'm doing the washing up? Oh, I fully know that. I actually, I don't know if it was on a podcast, but I said that, that Neil rewatches. How many times do you think you watched the gala video of the game you hosted? Yeah. Approximately. A couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> I actually okay. prefer listening to me because I don't like seeing myself from a side angle. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, Jeff was reading some of the questions and he's like, like questioning, like, oh, how, like, what do they mean? I'm like, oh my goodness. Just question, answer question. the question. Like so much like Excel spreadsheets for the questions, the stress level. How are you feeling tonight? Oh, never better. <laughs> Uh, but, and, and we do appreciate you guys being on the podcast and we really appreciate all the love and support that I'm sure it's going to be oozing from your pores on Saturday. No problem. <laughs> We're big crowd pullers for sure. Crowd pullers. Exactly. Uh, someone asked today on the stories, if they will get a chance to take a picture with the both of you. We may be able to uh, come down to the lobby. So oh. this is where the microphone is. <laughs> I hear you very well, Neil. You're nice. Thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Are you guys going to go in the lobby? I feel like, do you remember during Choose Happy at the end of the show, you guys got mauled, attacked, attacked. Like there was women hanging off of you at the end of the night. I do it for the people. Yeah. (laughs) Public service. (laughs) Um, I wonder which one of you loves that more. Although you like the women, Jeff, the women, the, there's actually a picture I'm going to share it. And it's, um, the boys are taking a selfie and like, Jeff is standing there like this. And Neil's like, (laughs) (laughs) he's like full arms are everywhere. And Jeff's like, very like politely. This is a stranger. I don't really know you. This is where my arms are. Mm. Yes. Professional, professional Mm -hmm. look. Like I'm making Mm -hmm. sure that I first born and last born right jeff's first born right? just nope i'm trying to avoid okay. lawsuits and stuff yeah. lawsuits mm. like look at what i'm living with right now <laughs> do they is there lawsuits if we uh don't clean the table no that is not acceptable that is not acceptable um wait i wanted to say something okay and with jeff being so professional and then neil we're not sure if we're gonna get canceled by the things that he says L- literally but, but at the end of the day we're giving him the mic 
It is. It's a risk okay. you're willing to take. She yep. said it's the risk you take. And then, mm. oh my God. Okay. Do we just get right into the questions? Yes, absolutely. I can't even handle this. It's, am, it's, am I in charge or are you in charge? Both of us go for the first one. What do you think? Uh, I like this one. You ready? Go. Have you ever, I'll go first. Have you, have you ever applied any of Jane advice to your own life? Do you, okay. Do you, okay. I, the people want to know, do you like, listen to us? Like, first of all, do you listen to the podcast? I don't. Neil? Uh, occasionally. You caught me one time. You, know, you listen to this? And yeah. Like, every once in a while, I'll hear him listening to something or watching a live. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, because there's some little details that you're talking about that you've missed opportunities when you were younger. Oh, Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, my yeah. one regret, life regret. Yeah. Your one life regret. Jeff doesn't know what your. What what, please, re Brian, remind everyone of your one life regret. I think they're gonna have to go back and want, listen to the, the other podcast to get that. Oh my god, it's definitely it's uh, one cheat. Yep, it's about sex. One life regret. Yeah. One, just one. Now G Neil knows, but he cannot fulfill that dream. Mm. He can't. I've actually told Neil several times. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I, you could tell the humans. I'm sure they want to know right now. No. Okay, perfect. Um, okay. So, you so have you ever implemented anything that we've ever uh, in your real life? Do you think? Well, I'm making a change. I'm playing pickable. Oh, <laughs> are you? Pi huh? What? Are I you? Saw I saw some. Are you? publicly poll. doing this right now on the podcast I and declaring that you're making a change. I may as well go with the old man hawking content and do something that old people do. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, yes. where are you playing? I've been Dallas very Star? active of late. Neil has been very active of, of late. late. That's of late. Um, mm -hmm. That's funny uh, that he said of late. Um, okay. Oh, well, that makes me so happy. It's yeah, so I'm important. moving my body. Oh, no. It is so Crazy. important that you move your body in a way that you love and old people love pickleball. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and I look like the dominant athlete because they're older people. Yes, and, you're actually uh, the young one. Then they're a bit off the pace, so it helps me. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Have All you right. invested in the gear? Like, do you have I have a pickleball um, yeah. paddle. He actually had one and then he came oh, home with a better one and I it was upgraded. like he was like feel this like this is lightweight shut up right like, now it's Obviously a big I... difference from a canadian tire one to a pro shop mm. and i'm using the pro shop now yeah wow, wow. okay wow. i didn't even know how did you keep this from me alicia that like he has like another hobby of playing sports he's gone twice so okay wow yeah. and he's already upgraded his palette no status is <laughs> <Battle. Yeah. laughs> yeah. what did you say two times and the status is athlete is that where well, we? I'm not a beginner anymore. <laughs> he like came home and he was like, everyone was watching us. We yes. were so good. But listen, it's a combination Tell them of that, like, that you guys went around the corner and they thought that you were gone. And what'd they say? They like, these guys are amazing. They are definitely not beginner status. They're intermediate. <laughs> <laughs> but last time I went with Gabe and we went to do badminton and we were like, went there to the, the hall and there was two old ladies and with like golden girls were like, we can dominate and destroy them. And they absolutely destroyed us. So we <laughs> lost, we lost, we lost all credit. And, um, uh, that's why you uh, gave up, you gave up that. Yeah. We, yeah. we were like feeling a bit disappointed, but then we started playing this and we, we've done naturals. Really well. naturals. Yeah. naturals. Okay. So you're thinking that you're taking our advice to move your body. Yeah, just make a bit of a change. Okay. I, sure. I also did notice that your neat has been a lot higher. You're like not laying on the couch. You're like doing your there's non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Yeah. All right. That's just, what just like movement. Like you have a high neat, although not really because you have a job that you sit at the desk, but like you like he is a high eat. Yes, exactly. You do. I thought I had a high eat, and that's what got me in this yeah, predicament exactly. in the first place. Yeah, that's a okay. thing too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool cool cool, 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 cool. And what about you, Jeffrey? I'd have to know what the advice is <laughs> to take it. I, I mean, I listen to stories, but it, I got nothing. You got nothing. How quickly do you press the button there's, when, there's, when yeah, a lot of pressing? Yeah, speed up. up. Yeah. Oh, press. like pass the stories. <laughs> exactly. Skip, 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 skip. skip. <laughs> if there's like cleavage and i'll slow down or whatever oh wow oh okay a little bit of flesh. so he's clearly not in my stories if he's looking at cleavage 
He's probably looking at mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, my gosh. I feel like Jeff, you're not really a, you're like Jose, you're Jose is not an advice person. I feel like you're not an advice guy. You're a research guy though. You're not going to be like your neighbor's not going to say, Hey, and you're like, he said that. So it's fine. You, there's, there's that, research. That is true. Yeah. I'm going to look it up. Science. Oh my you know, God. Math. So until we like publish a paper, I don't think he'll be taking any of our advice anytime soon. And I feel like Jeff's like a natural, a natural athlete too. Like if we play, I'm just getting back to pickleball. Okay. If we would play pickleball, I bet he would destroy me. And he's like, oh, I'm just naturally gifted. At I don't know. Are you a natural athlete? Yes, yes. Have you ever seen him? He does like axe throw in one minute and then he's, he's getting bullseyes. <laughs> like he's a natural, he's like a natural athlete. Oh, I've never played this before, but I'm incredibly good at it. Okay. It's really a Neil, do you have do you still have that spare uh, pickleball? Can he entire paddle? I will get we'll work it out. We're gonna do, we'll yeah. we do maybe we'll play we'll a sleepaway back. camp if, yeah. Both Jeff's parents are like intense pickleballers, they're like tournaments. Oh, it, Neil's it, dad is is hardcore. He yeah. like went to the pickleball champions. My dad is well known in the Riverview area for pickleball for sure. Wow. In the Riverview? He played when he was here. Yeah. Oh, that's fun to know. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, so Jeff definitely does not take any advice um, from what we're uh, saying, but he does take in cleavage. Um, yeah. Snippets. <laughs> cleavage yeah. content, yes, please. Okay. Yes, yeah. please. All right, he's in for that. Okay. Oh my God, go. This question is funny. Do you like the fame that comes with being the husbands of J and A? Sometimes is that ha has advantages, and other times, like the other night after my first game of pickleball, we Should went I? to Five Bridges afterwards for a sneaky pint just to celebrate our movement, and <laughs> um, and I didn't tell Alicia because I just she thought I was a pickleball, I thought I could sneak away with this. And then somebody recognized me and took a photograph and sent it to you. They didn't take a photograph. Oh, whatever. But they just said, I see old man hawking at five bridges. <laughs> and you're like, I thought he was at Pickleball. Now he is having a drink. But I was just <laughs> celebrating the movement. Yeah. I yeah. think that actually it's very important for you to celebrate your wins. And yeah. I support this. But that's it's part of my balanced lifestyle. I don't lose any, gain any. I just keep everything maintained. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Well, you didn't really answer. Do you like the fame back oh. with being Alicia's husband? Yeah, I don't mind it. You oh. actually let's, let's have a real honest moment. You are, and have always been a fame whore. True. <laughs> like well, even you Facebook, literally, like, literally when we went to camp, there was a lot of like wealthy to do people there. Okay. And Neil would be like, oh yeah, I know so-and-so. I'm like, no, you don't. You said hi to him once when you were taking care of his kid. Like, yeah, so right. Neil, if Neil saw an, an, uh, someone in the airport, he'd be like, I met that person. I did. Right. Who no, you did who, di who did you meet? Johnny Rotten. He was in the smoking area. I met him. Okay. And then there was the guy who was the boxer. What was his mm. name? Yeah, I met a lot of people, celebrities. Okay. <laughs> Just mingle. Okay. <laughs> Mainly in airports. <laughs> Where everyone else meets them. You yeah, know? that's true. That's okay, true. cool, cool, cool. Um, I feel like Neil does enjoy being your husband. Like you, I don't not not like it. Exactly. Let's just say. You like when people. Okay, when people recognize you, do you like it? Yeah, I don't mind it. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. What about you, Jeff? I feel like I don't like it as much as Neil does. Um, again, I don't not not not, not like it. No, uh, no, not like right. it um it's weird because i'm trying to make conversation with people i'm like oh i did this last week and they're like i know <laughs> the oh, I, I know yeah. everything my whole life there is like literally no privacy of of anything my whole world is i did find that when we went back to england too not many people were asking about us because we're, it's already been documented they know everything yeah do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. And sometimes when I'm talking to people, I'm like, do I tell them about this thing that I did? Because they probably know the thing that I did. Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But then, you know what? I have these moments when I'm at spin and I'm like in front of my class and I'm like, they must know that I'm eating, you know, lobster rolls, you know, but then they didn't know that I like, some of them were like, what's happening? So I'm like, wow, man, people, some people don't actually 
it's obviously not everyone follows my every move, but sometimes I get caught in that. And I'm like, so you probably just saw that I did a live and then after, but then no, they're not all caught up. You know, they're, they, they're at work and they're not on Instagram. So I get caught up in my own, uh, stories sometimes how many lobster rolls have you eaten in the past week i feel so, like there's been a lot every day yeah i'm at uh eight so there's two more was, was jeff with you at the time he was the one document so he was not invited no, he was I'm not, not jeff, jeff has to work too he has a big boy job but here who was doing the video in? oh the it's the town of shidiac that hired me so their their uh marketing person follows me oh they did it very good i thought it was all jeff Oh no, it was, it's at, well, I take her phone and I do the thing and then whatever, but she's actually like amazing. Like I was really impressed with, I didn't know who, like what type of person I was going to work with. Like, do they even know how to work Instagram? She's mm -hmm. actually amazing, but I also just take the phone from her and I'm like, let's edit that. Let's do this. And she's like, wow, this is, this is fun, but she is definitely capable and knows what's up. But yeah, no, I'm freaking loving it. No, I'm so sad. There's only two days left. All right. So fun. What so a good gig. Fun. She made it. I'm like, I could yeah. never, what is most perfect for her? I get to talk to everyone. I get to like, nah, nah, nah. I get to be in front of the camera and I get to eat. Loves the rolls. For sure. I freaking love it. I freaking love it. Um, um, okay, Neil. Yes. We want to know, what were you thinking when Kat and Nat FaceTimed you? And the, your first reaction is to show your nipple on the screen. That was just for a panic. That was just. That's funny. your, that was your that reaction. Was, I wanted to do something yeah. different. And the, the, the beat that wasn't getting it. So I thought do the nipple. Just were whatever. you waiting for the reaction from the crowd? Is that what was happening? I was just sitting there because you were all like bizarre about what was going on. And like, oh, I knew it was your moment. On, you've got to be on cool. You've got to be ready. I'm like, man, I'm trying to watch whatever. I was watching the crown or whatever. I'm trying to catch up with <laughs> the queen. And, um, and then uh, it came on and I was like, oh my God. But I was pretty casual. People thought I already knew the questions. No, you rocked it. Yeah. Um, okay. When I, I have to say that moment, Neil, for me, like when, mm -hmm. when she put you on camera and you showed your nipple, it's like, you understood what was needed in that moment. And I was like, so proud of you. Like there is no other husband that, I was a hype that guy, would have done sure. that. Jeff, would, would you ever show your nipple? Sure. Oh, <laughs> sure. Sure. If they asked me do to do it. Do it. 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 <laughs> right, right, right now. <laughs> that would not have been my first course of action. Yeah. Would you no, have answered? Well, I guess it's your wife. Your wife is FaceTiming you. So like you answer thinking it's your wife. Attitude upon you. Would have you been mad at me? Would you been mad? I don't know. It depends how it would have turned out, I guess. He doesn't like surprises. Like there's no Excel spreadsheet when uh Catnet calls, like what mm. to say. Like he wasn't prepared. There's no uh what did he say he needed to do? Um research. research. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he there was no research. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. Okay, Jeff, have you chosen your outfit for um the evening? Uh, I actually he's flirting with a few 80, 80, things. I don't know. I close. Close. Got a few options. I New options. He's going to decide what oh, I want. Wow. Yeah. I do love the picture of me in the pineapple suit and he's like looking like he's a watch model. It's and such a, a it's like was, such a good shot. He's even like looking in the right place. And I'm like, whatever. And he's like <laughs> looking in the right place, looking all cool and suave. And then I'm just the completely the opposite of what he's doing. Uh I, we love you for it. You know what? I'm so happy there's no mask this year. Like that'll yeah. be like a big difference, though, you guys. That'll be different. I'm excited oh, about yeah. that. And how do you feel about the suit? Don't give away the secret. How do you feel about the suit that I chose for you? It's very good. Yeah. I like it. How do you feel about the fact that your pants don't fit? I'm a bit disappointed, but it's all good. Yeah, we'll we're, we, made, we made it work. We'll work it out. We're just going to wear like, yeah, we'll figure out an alternative pant situation. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I have a question for Neil. How do you feel about the tasks that we've add you, we've asked you to do um, for choose uh, you? How do you, how do you feel about your role? I think it's good. Saturday. You're going to just leave me with a microphone with 700 women. That's fine. 700. <laughs> Is it like 700, 700 500? Right. We're actually like close to 600. Yeah. Like okay. yeah. yeah. There is uh, someone messaged me and said after a radio interview, their husband bought her and their husband tickets to go see the show. He heard us on the radio and then he bought the tickets. For her, right. Are the husbands coming? One husband. Wow. It'd oh. just be me, Jeff, and this other and that guy. guy. Oh yeah. my God. I meant to tell you that. So at some point, I think we need to ask the crowd, are there any husbands in the crowd? Right. Absolutely. 
And I we'll, mean, at, at Cat and Nat, they like pull men up. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll offer him a seat in the little booth with the boys. Mm-hmm. Like, if you want to come down with this with the boys, uh, you're more than welcome. You know what? I'm like, at the end of the day, it's going to be good for everyone. It's going to be good for everyone right, that watches. Sure. Just no children. No children. No. Someone also said that she was bringing her daughter. I'm like, please know that this, this show is rated PG-18. <laughs> Yes. I was like, I said 18. Someone asked and I was like 18. 18. Like, yeah. Like it's, she's an adult. She's 20. Your child has had sex before, please. Please. Oh, okay. So (laughs) yes. Yes. As in like the person that you're 18 and have had sex. Yes. I like those. I like those requirements. Yeah. So, okay. If anyone's listening, um, (laughs) there's, there's a significant amount of sex talk. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah, get ready for it. Everyone yeah. is it's all yeah. good. It's a great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Jeff is taking deep breaths. Deep yes. breaths. I'm Check just double point. checking. Your mom and Jeff's mom are sitting in the front row together. Front row together. Okay, perfect. Amazing. I'm That's I'm perfect. okay with it. I think it's a great conversation. I told my mother-in-law that it's it's rated R, and she's a 70 year old woman. Like she can handle whatever we're talking about. She can handle it. She's had yeah. nice words before um okay she's she's a single 70 year old like she can like she's gonna rock it it's gonna it's gonna be good for her you know um tell us uh neil Mm. um (laughs) how i'm so sorry about that noise can you hear that how do you feel about the old man hawking content oh i some people think i'm making fun of you and i think they feel sorry for you because i so frequently make fun of you but they need to know that you're you you're you're here for i'm fine with it the thing is Jeff gets to be called the Jeff, which is really kind of cool. And then I don't even get to choose. And I'm old man hockey. I mean, how long is that as a nickname? Old man hockey? It kind of just like happens though. Like, it's not like we sat down. We're like, hey, what should we call Jeff? Let's make it really cool. And what should we, like, it just happened. It just evolved. Yeah. The Jeff. Can I be called the Neil? It's Doesn't too late. Know. It's too late. Now it's old man hockey content. Like it has. A- I didn't realize how much I look at my lawn. And now... <laughs> I don't like freshly cut lawn. I think every man does it. I actually have gotten many responses. I think that's why people connect so much. They're like, that's my husband. Like yeah. my husband does that all the time. And I do fall asleep a lot. And <laughs> oh thank you God. for video and capturing that. You're Appreciate welcome. It. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Uh, See, so, I, and I, Neil, you have to be that content. Like Jeff would, Jeff would be probably upset with me if I made fun of um, his sleeping. I put him once where he fell asleep. Do you remember he fell asleep? That was amazing. Love that video. With your finger on the screen and you can see that you're reading about the war in the Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> like you could see said, what was on your screen. It was amazing. I said it oh, must be God. really interesting what he's reading because he reads. On... That puts me to sleep every night. <laughs> he <laughs> literally <laughs> reads that every night. Like he sits. I need my war updates. War <laughs> updates. Yeah. I need my war. Like, okay, wait a second. This man wait doesn't take there. advice from Jane A, which is like positive happiness, but then reads about the war every night. Like the shit that's in this brain. You know what I mean? Like we, there's a lot of work to be done in that brain. What do you do before eight, before you go to bed? What do you watch? Oh, on rainbows, butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> the stupidest TikTok videos I've ever seen in my life. Oh my, I'm like, why am I watching this pimple bin? But that's what I'm like before going to bed. Like, why am I doing that? And then that's why it, TikTok keeps showing you that because you use the algorithm. They're keep... like, this guy kind of loves people cutting their toenails. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, my turn. Okay. Um. Oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> okay, let's just go for it. What is oh, your, I can't believe someone asked this. What is your fave going out on a date outfit? Do you like to see on your wife? I need to tell you that that was my mom's question. Oh, Shut up. Oh, oh my God, Linda. So Linda. What is my favorite outfit for that going out? What type of outfit do you like to see your wife in? To, for date night. I don't know how Any. to describe clothing. Like, do you, I understand. What did he say? I don't have the words. He doesn't know how to describe clothing. He doesn't have like, words. Do you mean like a <laughs> dress? I, I, I like... I. It's, I like it. Like if it turns heads too, do you know what I mean? And then oh, like, that's what Neil likes. If other people think I'm hot, yeah. that's what Neil if, likes. No, most. I do like that. I think you're hot. But then if you turn heads too, that's just stamp of approval, really. 
right? And like, then they're like, why that? is that guy with her? They like, <laughs> they're like, this is weird. If you see us walking down the street holding hands, they're like, what is going on there? It's a little bit. He must make a lot of money. That's what they think. They might, he must have a big yeah. penis or makes lots of money. Yeah. Wrong on both. Right <laughs> 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 uh, All right. Okay. Next yeah. question. Um, Jeff, how annoyed are you? How annoyed? Nord. <laughs> I'm super annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> she had this problem last time. With, if I, it's if, her words. Do you know how many words have come out of her mouth today? Like her mouth is millions. tired. Her mouth is tired. Um, okay, how annoyed are you to be here in this very moment? Oh, right now. <laughs> right yeah, now. from one to ten. Somewhere between moderately annoyed to severe. <laughs> severe. <laughs> So it's pretty high, <laughs> right? Really high. Oh, yeah. What would you rather be doing? Uh, reading about the war. <laughs> <laughs> reading about the war. My war updates, of course. <laughs> no, it's all good. I kid. I kid. <laughs> it's all good. And how excited are you for the event on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> Moderate <laughs> to this for me. Yes, this is for you. Excited is a big word. I was gonna um, say, you guys, you need to know, like excitement. I tolerate it happening okay <laughs> i am hard. tolerant okay. <laughs> why is it so hard to tolerate it's not uh, when i have responsibilities then it means i have to do stuff and not oh, screw it up my god what are your risk like neil has well, all the responsibilities you've chopped off a lot clearly yes i have chopped off a lot because your tolerance level is very low mm. so then we're gonna go with like you show up people want to see your beautiful you look pretty tight suit Mm. tight suit be pretty they just want to see your face and neil has another purpose so excitement for him is like and like i see it like he's not born in excitement yeah parents like don't show a lot of excitement for things what does get excited people his brother his brother oh my god same like all four of them are very like uh, would, uh, would expressions they're not expressive thank god my kids got my expressions are they the cutest aren't you happy that our children are more like me wow <laughs> yes um okay <laughs> would you get excited what does excite you i mean we know there's certain oh, things we're not going to discuss I, those but like what would get you feeling like oh excited god. like doing flying a different plane christmas day <laughs> <laughs> rainbows and butterflies <laughs> Uh, excited i flying is exciting yeah um, yeah oh wow Oof, huh? it's hard yeah. but what about all of us going out together after isn't that exciting oh, that's, that's gonna be fun enjoy that for yeah. sure yeah, yeah yeah there's other like men that come like other husbands are coming yeah husbands that you like yeah of course. i think it just takes a lot for him like it has to be like next level for excitement like even trips like he's not excited he's very looking he's looking forward to it but unless it's like everything's like i don't want to say like about you but like something that you're really like passionate about which is literally just flying i mean but jeff's emotions are just they're like this like eh, eh, eh. right yeah. right and like we're like eh, 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 eh. Right. He yeah. also doesn't have a lot of lows. Like yeah. he doesn't like ever is like, oh my God, I'm not excited. Like he's just like, I'm I'm here. I'm here for it. Aren't you glad that this turned into the Jeff emotion yeah. assessment podcast? This is like an intervention, Jeff. We just Talk want to tell you we love you. And uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically this is how we were gonna tell you that this was an intervention. Mm. All right. Okay. okay, what else we got? What um, about Neil? Do you guys have an, another, what's your next goal? And they specifically said, Neil, the artist, what is your next goal? And they said, ne- Jeff, the pilot, what is your next goal? So I think they're looking for art goals. Okay. Is it, should we show them your t-shirt? It's this. It is my, uh, Bob Ross. Everyone needs a friend. <laughs> Pink everyone t-shirt. Everyone needs a little friend. Is that what I said? Everyone Every, needs a friend. Everyone needs a friend. And there's a little squirrel on his shoulder. <laughs> Sorry, let's let's make sure they see a Bob Ross's squirrel. <laughs> there are two of them. Two of them. Two Perfect. Squirrels. Okay. As a, an artist, mm-hmm. well, I'm still continuing to do some murals and stuff, but I would like to do uh, when I'm 50. I'd like to do 50 paintings at 50. Okay. You asked during the year. That's what, huh? Like during that year. 50. Yeah, the year of 50 to have 50 pack and then to have a gallery and display it and see everyone sell them. That's I love I mean. this. 
Why she doesn't like it? Why why are you not supporting him? I think the Jeff of that relationship. Why aren't you supporting? I think he should set a goal that is to have a show when he's 50. I don't think he needs 50 fucking paintings. All right. Well, we can cut that part out. That's like, that's like, that's like you, your parents try and make it like at like their 50th wedding anniversary. It was like 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Which lasted 50 days. Like it was a long time. (laughs) For sure. So I think it's great. I just don't right. think you need 50. Well, that's so many. Okay. Well, that's yeah, it could opinion. be, it could be 15 and it's like, you know, like that's, and they're like really good big paintings that you can sell. Oh my God. I'm so into this idea right now. I know. Isn't it cool? Can I host, not host your show. Oh my God. Can I help you plan it? Can I like, yes, like we'll find a location? Yeah, I, I want to do it right. Influencer. By the time you're 50 millions of followers, I will have. Oh yeah. It, you know what? We could actually, it could be epic. We could have an epic party. Yes. It's a party slash. I like it. I'm here for it. Yeah. I think, I think with your wife as your wife, like this is when you milk your wife being popular. Why don't you do this for me? Milk me. <laughs> oh my God. Stop the podcast. Start over. Oh my God. I knew she was going to say something. There's no sound. There's no sound with them laughing right now. I'm just filling in the gap. <laughs> yeah. Milk. Oh my god. Milk me. Milk me. Yeah. That's what's missing. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, do you I mean, have a gold? You have a flying gold. <laughs> Jeff the pilot. I have many. Um yeah, piloting. I mean, keep doing what I'm doing, but I want to do further, go further. Faster, the faster. I want a faster airplane, more capable airplane. I want to go to the Bahamas and the Caribbean and California and oh, I am so here. many things on the I bucket list for, for that. flying. So That's you milking things. me. This this is this you. Is this milking. is exactly this is yeah. the milking. Oh my god! We just god. need children that take Aren't care of themselves. Present. Yeah. yeah, we need normal chil- no more children. No more children, but they're here, so we have to wait, or we bring them. Mm. Oh my no God. more children. Mm. Right, yeah, they need to grow up and take care of themselves. So, like two years. Oh. <laughs> yeah, in two no, years, I, everything's, fine. His own. everything's fine. Everything's fine. Well, Noah can rock it because he's got the multi grain cereal down pat. No problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You go. Oh cereal. my God. Okay. Um, what is the hardest part about being married to someone like us and that we have this job? What's the hardest part? So the person that asked this said, like, I'm a nurse. So the hardest part is like, I work for really long days, but then I get days off. So like, what's the hardest part of being married to someone that has a job like we do? Um, um, oh, that's a tough one. Oh, well, that's good. I would. That's great. There's a lot of time on the phone. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of on the thing. Yeah. Unless you have to tell you to go to bed. Yeah. I'm like, okay. We work a lot. There's no question. Yeah, we love it. There's a lot of put your phone down, go to sleep. Chats, voice Wait. messages, so many voice messages. Is that the hardest part no, of being my it's husband? Not really? No, I don't think it's much. The, the I think things. I think the fact that you work hard all the time, for sure. I mean, I'm not sure if there's a hardest part for me. Oh, I reap a lot of benefits from everything. Really, to tell the truth. Yeah, He's you're living, really living like, the dream. Mm-hmm. He's living the dream. He really is. Yeah. Uh, what did my brother say about you i'm awesome probably no he looked at you this summer and you were like lounging in the pool and he said oh, i forget what he said but it was just perfectly described your life oh, yeah. child man of leisure man of leisure yeah. that's what he said and what's the best part of being married to someone that has a job like we do we work from home we can work uh the kids. flexibility i would say like literally you like you actually pick the kids up and all that kind of stuff you have so much time to do uh prioritize their homework and we can have vacations together and yeah it's yeah. good agreed i was actually going to say the same thing we both have flexible jobs and businesses or whatever so it kind yeah. of works pretty good that if one can't get the kid, the other one does or whatever. And, and vacations are easy. So there's a lot of yeah. perks. To, a lot of perks yeah. to our jobs. Yep. Agreed. All, all the perks. All oh, perks. speaking of perks, like co-hosting a show, choose you. That sounds like an amazing perk to being married to us. 
I thought you were going to say the hardest part is this, like it's, you guys need to understand like how Jeff is just so like different, different than what I, what I like, what I'm excited about, what I feel like is natural to me is like, not your thing. Yep. That's why it works so well. Cause it's a yin and the yang, right? You balance each other around. Yeah, yeah. Just like we said last year, like we, I don't know how we're making it work, but we're somehow making it work while being so different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, but the <laughs> yeah the 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 benefit is the perk is being the host and people. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Social media today was like the boys always need to be a part of it. They were yeah. the best part. They yeah. were so funny. Yes. Also, Thank you. people <laughs> loved the banter between us. So we're giving you guys more banter in Choose You. So. Yeah we're going to be letting the boys yeah. raise their hands <laughs> and see what we come up and, and there might be <laughs> times where i say with. paul paul turn off and he's like paul paul yeah shut it down um <laughs> yeah. but we're hoping that you guys will say more things in the in your booth yeah you guys are both as much as jeff is like jeff um you guys are both naturally funny yeah naturally jeff is actually funny. very funny jeff is he just very doesn't funny he keeps it inside. Mm -hmm. Obviously one of like the reasons why w we are together and that I fell in love with him so long ago is he is very funny, shy, mm -hmm. and also very smart. His, very his, smart. He, your humor is like sarcasm mm -hmm. slash yeah. making fun, which I love. That's like one of my favorites. So that, I think that yes. you should play on that because we, yes. this is the perfect time to make fun of us. And yeah, yeah it is the perfect time because it's in front of a lot of people. So we can't be like mad. You know what I mean? No. And, and you know, that's, this is what the people want. You have to give the people what they want. Avez-vous entendu? You have to give the people what they want. So we're giving them some surprises with Neil and Jeff. Yeah. We're giving them more Jeff and Neil banter, oh, okay. making fun time. Yeah. Are you going to go in the lobby at, at uh, break time yeah. and get we're a beer and in. get a photo? We're yeah. You in. guys should totally do, do, if you could do that for us, like go kind of in the lobby, take some selfies. The women would love it. We would really appreciate that. But they're yeah, also going to be a big part of the game that we're not going to reveal too much about, but there is a game. There is a game and they are like kind of co-hosting co with us. You guys are going to mm -hmm. freaking love that. No, um, and no, they're guess. basically just going to, Jeff is looking at his watch. Like what time is it? Um, there's also just two minutes left, you guys, but we got this. He's like Rocket. five minutes. So city. I'm like, I see it. I see the thing. Um, sometimes I make it, Jeff. Do you want to really like live on the edge? Like you make it and it's under one minute and you don't know how many seconds. So like you have to, you know what I mean? We often do that, actually. I'm like, okay, I don't know when it's going to finish. Okay, bye. And that's how we do it. Do you, are you guys ready? Cringe, cringe, just cringe just, the just whole cringe. time. Oh, is this how much time we got left? It Minutes is, Neil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what uh, that means. He didn't notice. And you were like, oh, my God. Um, okay. I don't think there's anything else that we really have to say. Um, oh, I love this one. Let's end it with the one minute. You guys ready? We're going we're gonna to end it with this one. What quality do your wives have that, that you wish you had ah oh, do i start yeah you go first I there's only one minute okay, and 11 let, seconds i have to go through my list um <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> i i honestly wish i was more like you that you know i can charisma and talking to everybody and just kind of that's yeah, nice. it's not my jam but it sounds fun looks fun <laughs> oh fun. i appreciate mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. thank you Mm. Yeah, but you talk to millions of people, I mean, millions of people, thousands of people all the time. But then when someone comes from Marketplace, you don't want to talk to them at the front door. That's it's me. Like Jose is like, hello, <laughs> hello, bonjour. <laughs> it's, it's a weird thing. I yeah, don't understand. I'm not, it. I'm not, it's not so much my vibe either. All right. That was the original question. Neil, seconds. What is the, the quality she has that you wish you had? Go. So, multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> unbelievable okay we, we, we love you guys we appreciate you guys thank you so much for listening go and purchase your ticket virtually do not miss this show you guys see we you guys love Saturday. you Saturday. yeah see you guys look forward to seeing you <laughs> Jeff's nipple finish with the nipple go. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>